CataractCoach.com. What do you do when you encounter vitreous? Well, we should probably learn from an expert. Now, on our sister channel, RetinaRounds.com, we recently had episode number one of the Rounds podcast. And guess who the guest was? It was Dr. Steve Charles, who practically like invented the modern vitrectomy machine. And he gave some very important pearls about what you should do when you encounter vitreous during cataract surgery to give your patients the best outcome. Now, I'm going to play that clip for you now. But remember, check out RetinaRounds.com, YouTube.com slash at RetinaRounds. Sign up for the RetinaRounds podcast. And of course, I already know you're smart enough to be listening to and subscribing to the Cataract Coach Podcast, where we teach you the secrets of being a more successful ophthalmologist. Now, let's get to the video clip and learn what do we do when the capsule breaks and we encounter vitreous. For the comprehensive ophthalmologist or the general ophthalmologist who uh, encounters vitreous during the surgery, what do you what do you tell your referring docs to do? This is something I've worked on for a long time. It's That's why I'm asking to you. Mind. I teach that at QO. Uh, I went to every ASCRS meeting, even though I never do cataract surgery. Uh, I don't do combined phacovid, for example. And what do I t- what have I taught? One, never, ever, ever use a cellulose sponge. It, uh, it because of wicking and because of lifting to cut. It, it, it obligatory traction. And and people say, well, as long as you get the bitter cell, it's going to be okay. No, it's not okay. That's Castor's teaching. It's wrong intraoperative traction is bad news. Don't pull on the vitreous. So throw your cellulose sponges away. Don't touch the eye with it. At meetings, people will, say, will be up given lunch and I said, well, I, oh, I'm using the cellulose sponge. Sorry, is Steve in the audience? I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm sorry about using the cellulose sponge. So I got that message across. Secondly, use the highest possible cutting rate. Thirdly, never withdraw the cutter while you're working. It's like the Doppler effect. You're, you're adding your withdrawal force to when we work our tails off to have a highest possible cutting rate, very low flow rates, and low, uh, just barely enough uh, aspiration vacuum in order to get vitreous to enter the port, and then you pull back in the cutter. So don't do this. This is not IA. So vitreous needs to be cut in its original position. Lens material is mobilized to the pecoprobe or the IA in, in the middle of the capsular bag. It's just the opposite. So cut vitreous in its original position. Now, what about the pars plana? I teach pars plantar vitrectomy, but I say if you're not comfortable, you still got to use two side ports. Infuse in one, aspirate over here. If you're, if you're just not going to learn the pars plantar. But if you learn to use the pars plantar just for the aspiration side, infuse through the side port, that's the best way to do it. And I think they should know that. Now, does that mean that they should go take asteroid out? Asteroid hardly ever causes visual loss. Do an OCT and you'll see it's really the Well, and as Bob Foose showed, patients with asteroid almost never have a PVD. And so, Good point. And so when you go to do, first of all, be very careful if you're going to step across into the posterior segment. No question. But if you go to the posterior segment, you want to be really certain that you've documented that there's a complete PVD before you get started. Absolutely correct. Let's talk about something else that I know you've had strong feelings about before, and that's the iris. So when the iris is playing games with the surgeon, what was your saying? You mess with the iris, it will what? Well, it's like all sphincters. It gets irritated when you mess with it. <laughs> that is some awesome advice for the next time we encounter vitreous during cataract surgery. So remember, subscribe to the Retina Rounds podcast. And you can find it on youtube.com slash at Retina Rounds. And of course, I hope you're subscribing to the Cataract Coach podcast where every week we have a one-hour conversation with an ophthalmologist who's going to teach you how to be more successful in your career. I promise you're going to love it. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason.